Smithy had a very rough game yesterday. Final score of 0-6 and 1, 0-6 and 2, something along those lines. And today he goes up against Acadian, who can at times. You aren't going to see Poke Ferris. This is going to be more of the auto attack base. Like, we're going to see crit on hit on this guy. Help Bjergsen put a little bit of damage down, but Jensen getting himself away is just fine. Like Smithy finding Acadian here in the top part of the river now. Getting the EQ combo down, continuing the chase. Acadian wants to get away. Blast Cone's going to be there and available. Like Smithy will not go further past this one. Flash blown on both junglers. Impact and Broken Blade. These are two guys to keep your eyes on as the game goes on. We already talked about how Broken Blade was the better carry the first time they fought. His jacks absolutely absolutely smashed the Yorick from Impact, but both these champions are going to be able to do plenty as the game goes on, and now they're getting into the one versus one here. Level six for Impact before Broken Blade's able to get his. And Akavian will be gifted this mark. It's on the Gromp. He's on that side of the map, so we'll be able to grab a second here, and we'll see if they want to try to go for a dive. Remember, they have Kindred Alt. This is Vladimir that you're diving, though. Hemo Plague going to be dropped down there, goes into the pool, finds a lot of damage onto Akavian. Lambs or Spike comes out. But Impact cannot get in there in time. It's first blood over to TSM. 45, but it does mean you're not hitting a first item power spike very soon. Bottom side, Core JJ in some trouble. Look at him, Finch. That Kinch almost stacking up the Braum pass. And there you go. The stun comes through. The damage goes out. TSM makes it a two for zero game. Team Liquid getting themselves one on the back side now. Advantage As trying to bully this Vladimir. It goes Smithy, though. Smithy trying to force the fight out on to Sven. Piercing arrow coming in from downtown Vincent from the one of the guys who is known for finding incredible shockwaves. Broken Blade has now found his way onto Impact. Good pool there from Impact to dodge away from the E. Broken Blade still looking to chase after this one, though. Doesn't have enough burst left in the kit. And top side advantages. Now bottom side. Here comes Zillion. Team Liquid in some trouble. Core JJ trying to get double lift out of trouble, but here comes the damage. Can they find him? The calling goes through. Double lift gets himself away, but not quite yet. Bjergsen takes him out with a bomb. And Core JJ will be number two. Sven grabs that kill. Picking up this Cloud Drake here for the side uh -oh. of PSM. As Broken Blade's looking for some damage on the double lift. Core JJ gobbles him up to safety. But Broken Blade might be able to go back in. There you go. There's the Akali with the bomb. The damage goes through. Broken Blade going to be in some trouble. Here comes Impact. Zillion ultimate on him. They're waiting for that one to wear away. Impact does not want to pop him and allow him to get the heal. Goes in and grabs the kill. Impact revenge finds its way in as Jensen grabs himself a kill to Bjergsen and Team Liquid is right back in the fight. Xmithy and Impact will try to disengage in the top side. Sven lets loose the calling as Xmithy heads for the hill. Yeah, they're going to keep going though. They're trying to take down Smithy. I think he will survive this. Be, you know, about picking your moment, being very careful and deliberate about those engagements. Go uh, here comes that firing time we're talking about. Broken Blade coming in from behind, drops down the shroud. Impact not able to make his way into the fight. Double is already going to be killed off. More damage coming through. TSM going to be routing everybody as Core JJ is going to fall down next. The bomb strapped to his head and he is dead. Bjergsen makes sure that one's going to be a three for zero for the side of TSM. Broken Blade atoning for his earlier sins. Gets a beautiful flank and they could get impact here impact. too. What are you doing, man? One versus five is not the kind of fight you want to win. TSM <laughs> will take down this Baron. I had to talk about Team Liquid dying so much in the last fight. Still had the name on my tongue, but it's TSM. The ones who are popping off. With Ix Smithy taken down to half HP and Bjergsen zoning everybody away. Blue Trinket's unfortunately not coordinated there from the side of Team Liquid oh either. God! Double lift takes two bombs. That so generate a little bit. Bjergsen will be forced to flash away there. Was caught out in the mid lane, but that does mean there's no Cataclysm available here for the Jarvan now. Sven putting down the calling. We're gonna do some damage to the double lift health bar.
marching into the enemy base. Spin and Broken Blade into the bottom lane, looking to make something happen. Maybe now onto Impact. Teemo Plague already used. Two cannon minions firing away at these Nexus turrets. Team Liquid decides to go in. They're looking for Smoothie, but Xmithy's gonna be taken down. The stun will guarantee it, as Team Liquid has to head for the hills. They'll run away, they'll try to disengage. Impact will hold the line, but for how long? That'll do Nexus it. Nexus protects him for only a moment, as he now has to retreat as well. TSM has only one Nexus turret to go, and the Nexus is now exposed. Double it will be taken to safety, but this will surely end poorly for Team Liquid. Impact tries to get himself something. The Shockwave finds nothing. Double it goes down, and TSM will 2-0 Team Liquid in the regular spring split. Going into playoffs in dominant form, TSM taking down TL. The question has to be asked, seeds be damned, who is the playoff favorite now? Not even just taking down TL, but taking them down in style. Impact versus Broken Blade was not close. Broken Blade dominated up on that top side, getting some early help from Acadian, but looking so, so strong on the Akali. Certainly impressive performances across the board here from TSM as this was a dominant game. There was one little surge for TL where they got a couple kills after that overextension from Broken Blade, but that was right. it. This was a clean closeout here. And TL now has to walk into playoffs losing three straight and waiting a couple weeks to find out who their opponent will be. It's going to be a bit of an uphill battle for them, you have to think.